Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take some time just to see the basics of cloth simulation. I'm going to walk up from just basic cloth to pinning the cloth so you can drag it around to pinning the cloth to your model so it looks like a cape that they can wear that'll move with them. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do here is I have a cube. Now what I'm going to do with this cube is I'm actually going to make it a solid object that the cloth can fall around. So I'll just take this cube here, I'll go to the physics tab, I'll go to collision, and that's it. Okay. Cube done. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide the cube for now. And I'm going to add my cloth. So I'm going to do mesh plane. Um, let's just center that. I'm going to scale it a little bigger. I'm going to move it up a little bit. And I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to subdivide it. If you don't subdivide it, it has nowhere to bend and act like a cloth. So that should be good for this one. Now I'm going to go back into object mode and let's turn that into a cloth. I'll just actually show the cube here. So there's that. I got physics. Let's hit cloth. And I'm just going to do a cloth preset here. Let's just make it cotton. And let's give this a run. And right away, you should see it totally behaves like a cloth. Perfect. Okay. Rewind. Now let's see how you can actually make this cloth attach itself to an object. Now there's different ways to do this. I'm just going to show you one way that I like to do it. Um, it's easy once you've done it a couple times. Here we go. So the first thing involves making pins, right? So that we could have part of our object stay still. So let's go into edit mode of the cloth. Okay. And let's pick this one vertice here. And with this one vertice, I'm going to actually add this to a vertex group. Now, if you haven't done this before, it's here on this tab called data for the object. And you have a little window called vertex group. Add a new one. It's called group. I'm going to call this pin ver vertices. I don't know why I'm having trouble spelling it there. Pin verts. There we go. And I'm going to assign it. And you'll see how this works. That's just a group of vertices that are part of that named group called pin verts. Okay. Now I'm going to go back out into object mode. And I'm going to go back to my physics settings. And you'll see here at the bottom of cloth, it has pinning. Let's go yes, pin. And it needs to know the one vertice group you're going to use. And I'll use this one here. And so now it's pinned it. So now when I do this, you'll see how it flops. And it basically has that little point pinned in space. So that's not bad. Now, of course, you're probably wondering, well, how do I pin it? to something that I can actually move this around, right? So attach it to something and move it around. Here's the next part. So let's go rewind. So you're back to beautiful normal here. Okay, let's go into edit mode. Make sure you have that one vertice selected that you had pinned before, and we're gonna add something called a hook. So you go mesh, vertices, hook, hook to new object. Or you can just go control H. So control H hook to new object. It makes an empty. So you'll see the empty it's made here and it's made it right there. And it's basically now hooked it to it. And what the hook modifier does, so I'll just show you here what it's done. Is it's actually added a modifier. We have the cloth modifier and we have the hook modifier. So let's just go into object mode, hit play, and you get this. Not bad. Let's drag this around. Ooh, that's really weird. Okay, and a lot of people get that. So here's what we do. I'm just going to control Z. So it puts that back to where it was. And it's just the order here. You actually have to have the hook modifier ahead of the cloth modifier. Very easy to forget the first time or two you do this. Now when I do it, hit play, move this around. Okay, you could animate that, keyframe it. And you basically have the cloth being dragged. Hit pause, rewind, control Z. Now it is noticeable when you actually move this around while you're doing this. If it hits the end of the timeline, this sort of becomes its new position wherever it's moved to and you get that really weird stretch. So sometimes I have to hit control Z just to put that back, you know, everything to its starting position. So that was one beautiful hook there. Now if you want to add a second hook, like this was going to be a cape, let's just go into edit mode and sort of review a few of the steps here again. Well, this has to be pinned as well. So what I have to do is I actually have to go back to the vertice group from the data tab and I have to go to pinverts. So let's select and it selects that one. Now I'm also going to 
select that one and that one and assign. So now I've got, you can see here, deselect, select. Both of those are part of the group. They're both pinned. If you're not convinced, you can see here when I rewind, play. Now that is pinned, but it's not hooked to anything, right? So it's just sort of stuck there in space. So what I want to do is I basically want to repeat what I did before. I just want to hook that to something. So let's go to edit mode is the easiest. Why is it doing this? There we go. Edit mode. I'm going to take just that vertice. Control H. Hook to new object. It creates empty one. And it's done the modifier. There's the hook modifier. And it's done it underneath. Let's just move it up on that modifier list, right? So cloth is the last one. And it's hooked to empty one. And now we see that when we go back to object mode and we go to play, you can move this one and you can move that one and you've basically got your two hooks there. Now the last stage here is you might want to actually attach this to a character like a cape or something like that. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to move my block here instead of moving everything I just made. Normally I would have made it in place you know at the proper spot but let's just do this for example. I'll keep them a little separated just so you know you can tell what's going on here. But I'm going to add this cloth as a cape to this model. So here we go. Basically what it involves is I just want a parent. Since the cloth is pinned and hooked to this empty, and this vertice is hooked to that empty, I just want to parent the empties to a vertice on my model. Okay, And to hook or to parent the empties to a vertice on your model, you just follow this procedure. It's probably the easiest. So you right click the empty to select it. So I've got empty selected right now. Then you hold the shift key and you right click the model, tab into edit mode, select the vertice, and now I want to make that the parent. And you could go over here and go vertice, oh where is it, make vertex parent. Okay, so that one's done. Um, I'll do the other one using the hotkey. So let's go back to object mode. So I select this. Sorry, I select the empty. Hold shift. Right click the model. Go into edit mode. Select the vertice. And control P. And it knows since I have a vertice selected, make vertex parent. And now that those are parented up, basically what you get here, well, let's just see what happens. The empties are now following the vertices, and the cloth is pinned to the empties. And so there you go. Let's give it a go. And as I move this object around, whoops, I'm in edit mode. Let's just rewind that again. Let's go into object mode, hit play, grab my object, and da 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 da, off it goes. So not bad, right? And control Z, remember that whole moving thing I told you about. And there you go. And so you can see here the cloth follows nicely and it basically flows like a cape and that's really it um, you'll notice this problem this problem here that you're seeing is because it went past the 250 mark while I had my object way out so now that's the new position right in frame zero so to get against that I just go rewind and control Z right put it back to where it should be and that's basically it and there you've got your cape. Pretty good. Anyways, that's basically your short tutorial how to do that. There's other ways to do it. Um, you can hook these to vertices and stuff, but you know what? This way is nice and simple. The cloth is on the empties, and then attach the empties, parent them, uh, get them parented to objects. That's it. Hopefully that helps you out. Uh, you can watch this video in slow version, you know, to follow the little steps.